Well, as you get over there, there's going to be some people over there doing about the same thing that we are. We're a lot better. They know. The B squad. They know. Hey guys, well I'm away. back again. This time I'm at Island Hello. of Adventure, hey Universal Orlando. Welcome out. And uh, it's us. reopened now from the coronavirus. Hello everybody. And I'm going to take a walk <laughs> around and show <laughs> you what the park's Hello. like and what the crowds are like with social <laughs> distancing. As you can see, you have to wear a mask Thanks for joining to enter. Us, guys. I'm about to enter now and I'll show you all the lands I can. I don't all right, guys, so I just entered Islands of Adventure, and so far, so good. It's not too crowded. People are pretty much spaced apart, and uh, I'm going to go hit some of these lands here and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so you can see everyone is going on the Hulk roller coaster, which is an awesome roller coaster here. Um, and it says only 15 minute wait, I bet it's probably even a little less than that. Uh, and this is like 12 o'clock noon in the afternoon on a Thursday. So normally summertime this will be packed and you can see it's really not that bad. Uh, there's a Storm Force accelerator there, which are kind of like uh, glorified teacups, but pretty fun from the X-Men. And I'm going to check out some other stuff. All right, guys, so this is the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. This is kind of like a simulator ride with 3D glasses, and it's awesome. And I'm gonna go on it right now. It says only five minute wait time, which is unbelievable for the afternoon. All right, guys, I just got off Spider-Man. Like I said, it was like a five minute wait. I walked right on. Now I'm heading into uh, the Toon area here. This is where Popeye's ride is. I'm gonna show that in a second. But they got a lot of comic book stuff and everything going on here restaurant pretty cool a little dated but still awesome you see there's like nobody around you may never see crowds with this low again everyone's got their masks on social distancing pretty cool let's check out popeye now all right guys so this is popeye and bluto's bilge rat barges it's a raft ride which is pretty awesome uh, it says 10 minute wait, but it looks again like you can just walk right on, no problem. And as you can see in the boats, they're socially distancing. People aren't close together unless they're family members. Let's take a look on the other side here. It goes down some crazy rapids. Pretty awesome, you get soaked. So again, not very crowded. Now's the time to come here if you want. This excellent uh, chance to get on all these rides as many times as you want. And I'm gonna show you some more stuff. I'm looking forward to Jurassic Park. So here's a quick look at Dudley Do-Right's Flume Ride. This is pretty awesome. Again, you get pretty wet. And as you can see, there was nobody on that one. So there's another one coming, but again, no line. Perfect chance to go on this. This gets packed in the summertime. Obviously not right now. So I'm heading to Jurassic Park and uh, Kong Skull Island. Okay guys, so this is Kong Skull Island, which looks awesome from the outside. Um, inside it's just a simulator ride with screens. Not that impressive. But what is impressive right now is I'm looking over here and it says a 35 minute wait time. All these other rides are quick walk on. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but um, I wouldn't wait for that even if it wasn't, uh, you know, 10 minutes or so. It's not that great a ride, unfortunately. I do like it, but you know, it could have been better. But still, I don't think it's gonna be really 35 minutes, and uh, maybe I'll check it out afterwards. But I'm going to Jurassic Park right now. So this is Jurassic Park River Adventure. As you can see, you go on a boat ride, and at the end, there's a huge drop. Uh, hopefully you don't get eaten by some dinosaurs. These people survive. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna go on now. That's what I'm here for mainly today. I love this ride, I love Jurassic Park. There it is there, you shoot down in there and that's the end of the ride. And here we go. All right guys, I just got off Jurassic Park. It was awesome, it was not crowded. I literally walked right on. Now this is Camp Jurassic. I used to love walking around this place. It's a playground for kids. So I don't think it's open right now. I'm just gonna take a quick pop in and see. Okay guys, so Camp Jurassic is a no-go for playing with your kids at the playground in here, unfortunately. Uh, those are still closed, I think, across the country. Uh, they do have a ride in here called 
uh, pterodon flyers, which is really cool. Uh, it's like a pterodactyl ride that overlooks the park. It's pretty awesome. Um, I know there's a rule normally uh, that you have to have a kid with you to ride. Adults can't just go on by themselves. I don't know if they're waving that right now, but uh, it is a really fun ride. Okay guys, so this is the Jurassic Park Discovery Center. Usually you can go and get some gifts in here in the gift shop and downstairs is a play area for kids. Um, I don't think it's gonna be open, but I'll take a look. Uh, the Burger Digs is open. You can get burgers and fries, onion rings. Pretty good place to eat. And uh, I love just going in here and walking around. Okay guys, so like I suspected, uh, the Discovery uh, Kids area is closed downstairs, unfortunately. So there are some things here that you can't do that you used to do. Uh, a lot of play areas for kids are shut down, unfortunately. But the rides are still running, everything's great. And I'm gonna go check out Harry Potter next. And again, guys, you can still get your photo ops here. Take it with the dinosaurs, it's pretty cool if you want. Uh, use your own camera or you can have Universal take one. Uh, not with your camera, you have to pay for a photo. All right, guys, so I'm about to enter Hogsmeade, home of Harry Potter and Hogwarts Castle. There's the castle view over there. And of course, you know, there's a little roller coaster and there's a ride in there. So check out that and see how the lines are. Normally you can barely walk through here and move. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, guys. So here's the Forbidden Journey ride in Harry Potter land. Only 10 minute wait, it says. That's unbelievable. You'll never see that again in the summertime, probably. Now's the chance to go. I think I'm going to go check it out. All right, guys, so the rains are coming in, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit short. Like I said, I was in the Harry Potter land. I'm, I'm there now. Uh, there's no lines today. Um, walk right in on the Forbidden Journey, and it was awesome. Um, this is a great time to visit if you wanna to go to Universal. There's not a lot of out of tourists, uh, out of town tourists or anything like that. So I definitely recommend it. And uh, Islands of Adventure was pretty awesome today. So have a good time.